Good evening, everyone, on this Wednesday evening as we come together and join our hearts in prayer. And as I said on Sunday morning, let us use this time during COVID to uh, pray for a revival across our land and across the world, that we will turn to God and help one another and support one another. For we give God great praise for all the great gifts that God gives us, especially for the gift of one another and how we love each other and take care of one another, for the gift of the beauty of the earth and for this beautiful community garden, for the sounds of the birds this evening, for all that God gives to us in nature, in fellowship, in worship, and tonight as we go to God in prayer, let us experience God's grace. Let us pray. Almighty God, we are thankful for your presence tonight. We come before your throne of grace, knowing that you hear and understand our every need. We thank you, God, for the sounds of the birds in the air. We thank you, God, for the beauty of your earth. We thank you for all of your people, and we ask, Lord, that you would continue to work in us to show your love and to take care of one another, that others will know and be able to sense your love through our actions in the world. Help us to put the other first and help our hearts to be turned to you completely. Set us on fire for you. Help us to ignite with your love so that we can show your love to others. We give you great praise for our time together tonight as we worship you and we join together with our hearts entwined. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hello, everybody. Uh, as we come to the end of this Wednesday, uh, this prayer service, I'm remembering a story from the Gospels where Jesus and his disciples are walking through a field of grain. And it's a Sabbath day, and they stop to take a break, and they eat. And somebody stops Jesus and says, Hey, don't you know it's the Sabbath? You're not supposed to be doing that. And to which Jesus responds, Sabbath was made for humans. Humans weren't made for the Sabbath. I think what he meant there is uh, sometimes we like to overanalyze some of our spiritual disciplines. We think of them as work or a burden, but in reality, these are not burdens, but a gift that God has given to us. Sometimes we do this with prayer. We think, oh, I should be praying, or I should have prayed more, better, or prettier. But it's really not about what we do. Um, it's a gift for us. It's not for God anyway. Uh, God's going to be all right even if we don't pray. God doesn't need anything from us. This is a gift uh, for us to connect with God. So in that sense, I invite you to bow your heads and, and pray with me. 
Almighty and gracious God, as we turn ourselves over to you, Lord, we pray for um, peace. We pray that um, everything that's been running through our heads, everything that has been um, causing us stress and causing us trouble, we pray, Lord, that you will take that away from us. We hand over to you the things uh, that we wish we could control, but ultimately that we cannot control. We hand over to you the things that um, plague us and, and bog us down, the things that um, create bitterness in our lives. God, we turn all of that over to you today. Lord, we thank you for the season we find ourselves in um, as the government restrictions start to ease a little bit. And as we work our ways back to, to normal life, Lord, we um, thank you for all the blessings and mercies around us. As we return to the hair salons and the barber shops, Lord, um, and um, as we start to look more normal again, Lord, we pray that you will turn our hearts toward those who don't have access to such places, to those who don't have access to hygiene or clean water or clean food. Lord, as we um, start to uh, leave our homes and go out in public, um, we remember what it felt like to be trapped. And as we have the privilege of leaving, we uh, remember tonight those who continue to feel trapped uh, because they live in substandard housing or holding cells or the people who are emotionally trapped in relationships. God, these burdens we turn over to you. We pray, Lord, that you will be with those folks. And God, as we start to see our friends again, uh, we pray, Lord, that um, the, the loneliness that we have felt will be healed, but also that we would remember what it is to be lonely. And we pray, Lord, that you will break our hearts for the strangers, for the lonely, for the isolated, people who are widows, people who are overworked, people who are away from their homes for whatever reason. God, we ask for your mercy there. And God, we don't just ask for uh, sympathy. We don't ask that you just make us feel sorry for other people around us, but we pray, Lord, for mercy for these folks. We pray for mercy for the people on our hearts. We pray for mercy for those who are suffering. And God, not just mercy, but justice. We pray that you will uh, make things right and that you would do that through us. For we remember the, the scripture lesson um, in which you said, uh, what have you required of us? but to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with you, our God. God, we pray for justice and mercy and a humble life. Lord, as we take these things from our consciousness and, and name them out loud, we pray that you will take them and some of the burden away from us because we are not the Savior. We are not God. You are. And we pray, Lord, that you will do what we cannot with these things. Lord, in all of this, we ask for your Holy Spirit to work in our lives, that you will continue to bring about comfort and peace, uh, not a comfort that promotes laziness, but a comfort that helps us to face the day unafraid, to help us to be faithful to what you've called us to. Lord, we want to be your faithful disciples, disciples who live in the way that Jesus taught us to live and pray in the way that he taught us to pray. When he said, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.